I think because of this coronavirus outbreak, everybody being at home, everybody all of a sudden having uh, no other choice but to just go live to reach their audience, after all of this is over, and who knows, you could be watching this video three years from now and this, <laughs> this fucking thing still hasn't ended, but after this is over, I think it's gonna fundamentally change the way that we use social media, the way that we go live. In this video right here, what I wanna do is I wanna give you the best use cases for going live. I'm gonna show you a couple examples of celebrities and creators who are crushing it with Instagram Live. I'm gonna show you what they're doing. I'm gonna give you tips for going live on Instagram because let's just get right into it. I don't like Instagram Live. Why? Because as a smaller creator, as in I don't have millions of followers, I get nervous about going live on Instagram. I, I think to myself, um, what if no one watches this? Or worse, what if like two people watch this and I feel stuck with them and it's awkward. I hate that when you go on Instagram Live, you can see who joins. Me as a user, I don't wanna join someone's Instagram Live if they only have two people on Live, right? It feels awkward to me. So I wasn't the biggest fan of Live until this whole thing happened and people started just going nuts on live and pushing it to its limit. And you're gonna see in this video how creators are just taking Instagram live to the next level. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over that. I'm gonna teach you how to take those elements, how to incorporate it so you feel comfortable using IG live. You use Instagram live to build your community. And at the end of this day, this whole situation is fucked. But the good that came out of it is I think that live is now the future, right? And so I'm gonna teach you how to use that in the best practice. So let's get right into it. But before we do, if you're new and you just sat through me ranting uh, through, for three minutes and you're wondering who I am, my name is Bobby and this is uh, Build Influence with Bobby, the channel where we teach you how to build influence on social media and start your movement. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a creator, if you're a musician, anybody that has a movement on social media that needs eyeballs on you, this is the place to do that. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into it. How to use Instagram Live the right way. Before we're gonna structure this video, I think the typical person watching this video is gonna wonder these things. Number one, what are some ideas that I can get to go live, all right? I don't wanna be boring, I wanna be interesting. Bobby, give me some ideas to go live with. And two, how do I get more people to watch my Instagram live? So let's start with the first one and then we'll head to the second one. So the first one, just go live and don't care what anybody thinks. And I'm gonna give you a practical way to back up this philosophy, okay? So normally I would give you just this good, goody, goody feeling of just like, who cares, you know, put yourself out there, be the best version of yourself. But I'm gonna give you something even better. There's a new feature on Instagram that allows you to download your lives, right? So what that means is you can now repurpose that Instagram Live. So even if you go on Instagram Live and nobody watches it, you can take that, download it, and repurpose that content. You can cut it up and put it on YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, anywhere, okay? And when you cut it up, it doesn't show how many people watched it. So that's just you giving value, all right? So if you're an artist that goes live and does a song, nobody views it, who cares? Download it, post it to your Facebook. If you are a teacher that's doing a Spanish lesson or you're an entrepreneur doing a lesson on stocks, nobody watches it, who cares? Take that content, repurpose it, and put it somewhere else so there's no excuse not to go live because it doesn't end there you can take that content be resourceful and chop it up now with that being said let's keep an open mind here I'm trying I'm telling you everybody's at home everybody is online right now people are going to watch your live they're going to love your life people want to hear from you I watch Instagram stories from people that I went to middle school with I watch their stories because for some reason I feel entangled in their life. People feel the same way about you. They followed you for a reason. They wanna hear what you have to say. So don't be scared, just get out there and post on live. This whole live thing has been so interesting. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned the whole coronavirus thing and the whole, all of a sudden the entire world was on Instagram live. You had people who had podcasts, had live TV shows, and now they were all stuck at home and going live was the only format they had to reach their audience. And what I noticed was on day one, everybody put the face, the phone to their face and they just started talking. But by day two or day three, they realized that that wasn't enough and that they needed to be more interesting, more entertaining, and they needed to try a different format 
in order to retain their audience and get the views that they wanted, right? So the first way that you can go live, the first idea that I have for you is simply talk to your audience. Now, Instagram Live has a feature where you can go live with a member of your audience if they request to be in the video. So here we are on my Instagram. You can see I have two people going live right now. They're all going live with another person. Now, before we dive into these people, because I have two people going live right now and they're both doing two different things. The first is when you go live and you're gonna go live with another person, it needs to have a purpose. Don't just pick a random person and go live have an idea. So for example, interviewing with somebody, interviewing somebody, that is a pre-planned, premeditated thought of going live, okay? Now the second is, let's get, let's get creative here. Roasting somebody, you can roast your audience. You can audit your audience's uh, finances, their Instagram account, whatever it is, whatever your niche is, bring it into this live world. But don't just randomly interview somebody or don't just randomly bring in somebody into your live. So here, here we have um, a person right here who is bringing in their audience and is being comical about it, right? And so this person right here, their whole thing is he has people ask them advice. So what he's doing is he's asking his audience to ask him for advice and then everybody tunes in for that. This works fantastic. Now the second person we have here is Ed Milet and Ed Milet is going live with Patrick Schwarzenegger. Now I don't have the sound on, but what I can assume is happening is that he is interviewing this person, right? So these are both premeditated, uh, premeditated, thought out formats that they've chosen to then go live with, okay? So tip number one, if you wanna go live, you wanna be interesting, go live with somebody else. Now, not only is it more interesting to have a back and forth conversation, to have a chosen format, like for example, interviewing somebody, roasting somebody, whatever you could think of. But three, you're also bringing their audience into your world. So this is a great time to collaborate. Think about being a health and fitness influencer. And let's say that you do diet plans and all of a sudden you bring in a keto expert and you kind of collab on something online, right? That's something really cool. So get creative with this. Next tip for going live is host a show. Really think big here. The sky is the limit. Be as creative as possible. I want to pull up one of my favorite creators. His name is Andrew Schultz and he's completely changed to the game on social media for comedians and entertainers. So what he's decided to do is host an Instagram live show called Corona Got Talent. And essentially what it is, is it's a live show that he hosts. I think he does it once a week or maybe it could be every day. But what he does is he hosts a live TV show with the name Corona Got Talent and he asks his fans or anybody following him to request to be on live if they have a talent. The people that join the show do something outrageous, something crazy, and him and his three buddies watch, they react, and they judge, and they give them a score or something like that. And I think they hand out some prizes. Now this is an incredibly creative way to go live. I mean, it has a purpose. It has a single purpose. People being crazy and being funny, so people will tune in for this. Now, take what he's done and not as crazy, or yeah, actually keep that mindset, be crazy, right? And bring it into your own world, your own niche. If you are a health and fitness person, consider having a live show called you know, Fitness with Bobby every day, and maybe you do a morning workout routine. How cool would that be if, you know, every, you know, day you, you create a show where you just, you know, you go over your morning at home workouts, or if you're a chef, a uh, quarantine cooking show, if you give value, X with X, the, you know, stocks with Bobby, whatever it is, get creative and come up with some show. All right, our next idea for going live is Q and A's, question and answers. Instagram has a feature where you can ask questions to your audience audience, you go to your Instagram story and you ask your audience a question. And then what you can do is go live and answer those questions. This is a great way for you to give back to your community, to give value, to answer those questions. Now we kind of spoke about this previously, but this is another great way for you to establish authority on Instagram, right? Being on Instagram is more than just posting photos. In 2020, Instagram is a resume. It doesn't matter if you're just a high school kid on Instagram, if you're a rapper on Instagram, if you're anyone on Instagram, you need to show that you're an authority, okay? And one of the easiest ways to do that is to deliver value, to tell people what you know, to teach, or just answer questions. It could be something like, how was your day? People could ask these questions. So the Q&A sticker, it's a really good way to go live and just fill the 30 minutes that you're gonna be on live, the 10 minutes, the 30 minutes with content that's already been created for you because since people are already asking you questions, 
you don't need to think about what you're gonna say when you go live. So I would say that if you're looking into starting Instagram Lives, this would be the place to start with, is these Q and A's. Because one, you're gonna be able to give back to your community. Two, people are gonna watch it because they're gonna to wanna to find the answers to the question that they have asked you. And three, the content has already been created for you. I'm giving you some amazing ideas that you can use to go live on Instagram and just crush it. Whatever happens, just get on live. Who cares what people think? I don't know what's holding you back from going live, but just, throw it out the window, the world's in flames, so what do you have to lose? But let me give you some best practices for getting more people to actually watch your Instagram lives. So the first is adding a countdown sticker. So Instagram has a feature where you go to your Instagram story, there's a little feature, it's called countdown sticker, and what people can do is they can then tap it to tune into your live. So you'll make an Instagram story saying something like, hey, I'm going live tomorrow at 5 p.m. and I'm going to be interviewing all of you guys, something like that. People will tap that sticker and then when you go live, when the little countdown comes down is uh, people will get notified and they'll tune into your Instagram live. Now, the second thing is just being consistent with lives once you go live. I recommend to not just randomly go live, but to go live every other day. Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific. This way people will get used to you being live at that time. They can kind of just be, uh, you know, they already know when you're going live, so they're more likely to tune in. Now, the next thing that you can do is you can add advertisements in your captions of all of your posts and in your bio. So what you could do is you could just add to your little name part of your Instagram bio, say, Bobby, I go live daily, 5 p.m. Pacific. So people already know as soon as they follow you that you're somebody that goes live and they should be looking out and tuning into that. You could also add it within your captions. Every time you post on Instagram, just make a little advertisement section that says, hey, every Friday at 5 p.m. I go live and I talk about this, okay? So those are some best practices that you can use to get people to go live. Now, the main one where you're really gonna see people start to tune into your live more and more and more is to, like I said, have a single purpose for your live, something that is consistent, that people are consistently tuning into. If you own a snowboarding account, you post snowboarding videos, and your Instagram live is about you eating soup, no one's gonna tune in, so try to make it uh, as much to your niche as you can, but you know, don't really take that part, what I just said, too seriously, because people do wanna see your personality, so you know, whatever you wanna do on live, go for it. Now, this video went on long. I know it went on long. I'm sorry it went on long, um, but I just think that Instagram Live is incredibly important. So what I did is I'm gonna type it, type out a best practices for Instagram Live check sheet, a go live on Instagram check sheet, right? And if you want that, what I want you to do is comment, I want in and click the link in the description. Click the link in the description. It's gonna be, don't DM me saying, Bobby, I want it. It's going to be in the link in the description. Click it right there and you can grab it. That's it for today's video. I want to know your thoughts on going live on Instagram. Don't forget to join the notification squad. You're gonna get notified whenever I come out with a new video, as well as be able to text me, yes me, if you have any questions, you'll be able to text my phone. That's also in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.